Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, it's Saturday. I'm not sure what's going on with the lighting today. Okay, it just seems like there's streams of light um, coming in, but the light's not blinding me, which is good. Oh, interesting. Seeing as I'm looking at the Seven of Cups, is this light too bright? Is this light too bright? Okay, should we call the video that? Is this light too bright? Let's um, give these cards a shuffle. I do have the Druid Craft Tarot um, out today. I said I was using them yesterday, but I wasn't. I was using the Rider Waite. So there's a call to use the Druid Craft Tarot. Let me just get a story and then I'll kind of just clarify with um, those other cards here. Those other cards. What's wrong with my words? Ten of Cups and then we've got two, three cards. What way do you, what order? Come on, find an order. <clears throat> Look at us doing, doing something like single-handed, one-handed, single-handedly. Okay, two single hands here, look. What is today's story about? So, okay, someone's clever enough to like kind of, what, juggle with one hand? Okay. It's a talent, anyway. Ten of Cups, that's your happily ever after. Hooray! That's what the kids are saying, hooray. Hip hip, hooray! For he, for she's a jolly good fellow. Which one? I'm not sure. But this is about going single-handedly. Interesting enough, the masculine actually has his arm around the feminine. In this picture. There's a home in the distance. Okay, are we nearly home? And I feel like maybe we've done it single-handedly, up until now. But the kids are happy. Who are these kids? Why do I feel like they're the cherubs that have been on my, my, on my ceiling? Lucy, get your words out. You're stuttering, you're stammering. Okay, then we have a nightmare. <laughs> someone's had a... Was that a nightmare? I feel like someone's had a dream. The Divine Masculine may have had a dream. Okay. Um, I feel it's about his future. He's turned of cups here. I had a dream, a song to sing. Okay, so if you see the wonder of the fairy tale, you can, is it you can taste the future? Okay, even if you fail. I believe in angels. Okay. I believe in angels. Well, Divine Feminine, this car kept coming up yesterday, and that is you in the world. And you're looking at uh, it, the wasted dream. You're looking at the Divine Masculine here, so you're already like living the dream. Okay. Enlightenment now over the Divine Masculine. A flash of gold, a bolt of light, my golden coat flew out of sight. Looks like he's losing his comfort blanket here. The world card, and then we have memories of love, someone returning from the past. They could be going on a little bit of a walk first now. Why? I feel like the masculine energy in this story has had a dream of what his future looks like. It's good, it's happy. So he's been enlightened. Divine Feminine, you're still in the world, so you're living the dream. <clears throat> and you're looking at, I can't remember what I said, a wasted dream, a wasted opportunity. But then it feels like the Divine Masculine, well, on the other side of the world is someone returning from the past with some flowers. And um, But he's walking around in the background here. So it looks like he might need to clear his head after last night. Bottom of the deck. Oh, the energy of holding on way too tightly. It was like um, this masculine feels very much twisted in knots. Um, he's not sure what he's going to do regarding his kingdom. Or which kingdom, because there's two in the background here. So this masculine has gone to find himself some space. He's gone for a walk. 
Um, what's kind of bringing all that together is the colour of his mattress, yeah, that he's laying on. And then we have the colour of the, the floor. It's a floor. I feel like it's a walk, not a drive. It could be a drive. He could be holding on to a steering wheel here. Um, it's okay, because he's got a protective bubble around him. Because I felt like a flooring, like the car, foot down on the accelerator, getting out of town, wants to floor it. Um, your Divine Masculine has a protective bubble around him, so do not fear. Okay. You need to believe in angels. I don't know, there's a bit of a reckless behaviour here from the masculine regarding what he's, the vision he's seen. Background, again, he's walking, but it's like on a, I don't know. I feel like a, <laughs> it's like he's playing a little game when he's out, like trying not to step on the lines. I do that sometimes. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> don't step on the lines of the pavement. Otherwise, it's unlucky. I'm not sure what's um, <clears throat> Druid Craft Tarot. Okay, let's have a look. So it felt like the cherubs, the cherubs were going hip hip hooray. Single handedly, you both got there. To the Ten of Cups, you're already there, Divine Feminine. So it's like you're on the right side of home. Um, so home is where the heart is, but the Divine Masculine, well, where is his heart? Um, I feel like it's clenched up, um, it's contracting. Interesting, um, it's like his heart's contracting for him to do some contacting. Ten of Cups, the star. I spoke about the glow up, how bright you are. The star with the world. That's you, Divine Feminine, all lit up. You're in your kind of new land here. Protected. You're open. You're feeding the earth. You're finding the balance as well. I feel like in the background here, that could be where the Divine Masculine is. I don't know, I feel like he's celebrating though. So, um, is he? Because we have the card of the Divine Masculines all kind of like, they're in agreement. Hmm. The Four Fathers is coming up here. So there could actually be like four um, powerful masculines in the equation. I feel like they're, these are power masculines who can really bring change to our world. Okay, whether or not they're aware, but there's three masculines here. It feels like three have been, I don't know, um, it feels like when you have um, like a mastermind alliance. So there's a group of you that are all kind of heading for the same goal. Now, if that is not um, people in the physical, they can be energetic. You can kind of call forth. Um, the most influential people, their energy that you know. And you have a discussion. But there's only three masculines here, so one's missing. Is it this one? I feel like he might have clocked on. Okay. So there's a star of energy, and then we have masculines that are celebrating. It looks like they're on... The other side of that uh, portal here where the feminines are so they're right there I love how the light just does the work for us okay it enlightens what needs to be shown three cards seven of swords so I do feel like there is a masculine who maybe feels as if he's lapsed in behind um, you can see like he's trying to put something together, anything, just, he's got to come up with something. The security of his blanket is slipping. Then we have the Queen of Cups, interesting. So I felt this lovely warm energy being sent to 
the masculine via the divine feminine. It's like you're up, divine feminine. Why are you up? I feel like you're having to bring in the balance. There's times when you know that you have to kind of get to work and, I don't know, wave your magic energetically because this is about you bringing in the balance, feeding the waters and the earth um, for the whole planet. So you're actually up with this orb in your cup. And one more card. And here you are again in the world. Um, the difference with this card is you have, this is like characters, and these are more symbols of the, um, of the tower. So you have all the tools, Divine Feminine, the tools of the universe. Very interesting. Okay, so we've got the world card twice. It showed up more than that yesterday. No, um, no five of swords today, because that came up um, a lot yesterday. Got the star of energy. I feel patience, divine feminine, is what you're needing to practice. You have all the tools, and it's like you know the laws of the universe. So. Um, You attract what you are. Okay. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Well, the Divine Masculine is down. It's interesting. All that coming coming through is that he's been made abundant. He's been made abundant. Abundancy, abundancy is good. To receive abundance. He's been made abundant. He has an idea. I'm not sure what the driving around or the walking around is about. Obviously to clear his mind or to think. I think he needs some thinking space. It's like he's trying to figure out the message, but I feel like he's figured it out. Okay, um, romance angels. Let's ask the romance angels what's going on. Because there are some children here, young, younger ones, who are jumping around for joy. And joy being the divine feminine's energy. Joy is all of our natural states of being. Okay. So, Divine Masculine, have you found your joy? You've been shown your joy? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. The Romance Angels are helping you during this period of separation from your partner. This card comes to you as an indication of angelic support as you spend time away from each other. I feel the strain of it's got a bit too much for the Divine Masculine being away from you, Divine Feminine. Maybe a little bit of reckless behaviour. I can see drinking, celebrating. They're on the other side, just on the other side of the portal there. Maybe some reckless driving. I feel like they're protected, so you're not to worry. Um, it feels like something they might need to get out of their system. Okay. This card comes to you as an indication of angelic support as you spend time away from each other. Um, the reason I want to say like attracts like, so you don't want to worry about this, about your divine masculine being in any form of danger, because you don't want to attract that, do you? No. You just need to know that we are all um, protected by our angels. We're here for a mission and um, we are being protected. While you're apart, the angels can help 
you fill your hours with healthy activities which will help your present or future relationships. This may indicate a temporary period of aloneness, such as while your partner is travelling for business or a time in your life when you're single and preparing for your next relationship. It can also mean a marital separation or divorce. Call upon the angels for support and guidance during these transitions. They can help you discover the deep healing to be mined as you spend time alone, which prepares you for the next part of your relationship journey. Now, hopefully, Divine Feminine, that you've kind of dealt with this aloneness. Okay. Um, but when it comes to your Divine Masculine, maybe there has been yeah, a marital separation or divorce that's taken place. I do feel like he's blowing off some steam, though. He knows where he's going, but before he kind of goes through with it, um, it looks like a little bit of maybe a reckless behaviour comes out. Nothing to um, fear or to worry about. Um, so there is some deep healing to be mined as uh, you both spend some time alone, which prepares you for the next part of your relationship journey. And I want to say, because you've got the magic wands here and it's like, well, what can you do to assist? And it's just uh, making sure that um, you confidently believe that there is this protective bubble around you and your divine counterpart, seeing as you are kind of one. Okay. Should we get another card from here? I'm like kind of inclined to the side. Okay, it's 1344, but it took me to being 144, the 144,000 very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, the Divine Masculine has been, what did I say, been made abundant. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This feels like a, a last bit of contrast so that you can find your clarity. <laughs> I don't know whether or not the Divine Masculine looks at it as being, I was going to say like his last night of freedom, but he's just about to set himself free. But I think you kind of get what I mean by that. This card asks you, what do you want? And demands very clear and specific answers. Just like putting in your order at a restaurant, the universe has been listening to your thoughts and feelings about your love life and has brought you what you asked for. So be careful what you're asking for, Divine Feminine's protection, love, support, strength for the Divine Masculine. Healing, energy, and for yourself. Okay, so watch those thoughts. Big message um, for the Feminines today. You can do your part, okay. So when you complain about what served to you, it's only because you placed an unclear order. So if your Divine Masculine has placed an unclear order somewhere and he's attracted maybe some some negativity. I don't know, because he's been, abundance comes in. Um, and I feel like it's the power of your energy, Divine Feminine. Okay. You have the power to perk him up. As soon as you are perfectly straightforward about what it is you desire, it comes to you. Upon the wings of angels in an instant. You drew this card because it's time for you to get clear and honest with yourself and formulate your request with faith and optimism. Trust your feelings and make decisions for yourself about what's best for you. Okay. Uh, big message there for you, Divine Feminines. Wanting to know what you can do to help assist the energy? Stay positive. Stay positive, stay protected. <clears throat> We're getting one more. Two more. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This message was kind of coming through last night, is that there does need to be 
more romance that's actually injected into um, our world at this time. I don't really believe that over really the last year people have been very romantic. Uh, I can imagine that maybe there hasn't been so many uh, <clears throat> new connections coming together. Um, so it kind of lacks romance and contact and touch out there. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. The stirrings within your hearts represent the song of romance calling to you. And I felt as if the Divine Masculine's heart was contracting to contact. This card comes to you as guidance to follow the pathway of those feelings. Perhaps you've met someone who made your heart leap and you wondered whether to pursue him or her. Well, this card says that the answer is yes. Take action by flirting, asking the person out on a date or making your feelings known. If you've recently been longing for more romance in your life, this card is a signal to take charge of making that happen. Okay. And I'm feeling that maybe, well, both of you have been longing for more romance in your life. I'm not going to say it looks like the Divine Masculine. That's what he's been longing for. So he has kind of attracted it. Um, but you too, Divine Feminine, have also been longing for romance in your life. So if you've recently been longing for more romance in your life, this card is a signal to take charge of making that happen. You can romance yourself. By, for example, treating yourself to a luxurious massage or pedicure, buying yourself presents or watching a romantic movie. And I feel Divine Feminine, you've been doing a good job of that, romancing yourself. You can also actively pursue and attract romance. First affirm that it is already inside of you. A partner definitely brings these feelings to the surface. However, they were within you as a potential initially. The more you affirm, I am romantically loved, the more you attract this condition within yourself and through a relationship. In some cases, you'll receive this card as a signal that you are ready for a new relationship. It then guides you to take action, such as being aware of people you meet who may be potential partners, as well as frequenting places where such potential partners may be. These would be locations or events associated with your hobbies and interests. Wow. Interesting that it comes before the separation and I feel like this is what maybe the Divine Masculine has been doing. Um, longing. It feels like paying you little visits. Okay. In whatever way uh, it applies for him. This last card here, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. What was interesting, I felt, when it says that in some cases you'll receive this card as a signal that you're ready for a new relationship, I do honestly believe the Divine Feminines are there. They're ready for a new relationship. For this new energy, energy okay, to be bedded in. Listen. <laughs> it then guides you to take action such as being aware of people you meet who may be potential partners and I've noticed myself that there's been a lot of masculine energy that's come into my life, very assisting energy this year since the new year and um, it's very nice um, that all of a sudden there is a masculines kind of in my environment. Okay. I look very dark, don't I, sitting here? I could come over this way. Does it make me lighter? <laughs> Does it make me lighter? We just deal with the natural lighting, it's cool. So let's read this new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, Divine Feminine, like attracts like. So the person that it seems you are attracting into your life is just going to be, he's just going to be just like you. Like through and through. That doesn't mean that that isn't your uh, initial divine masculine that you perceived it to be. It just feels like you're very just open to this new love that's, uh, that's being born. So, new love. The Romance Angels has sent you this card like a Valentine greeting. 
signalling the introduction of someone new into your love life. Perhaps you recently met this person and your interests were piqued. This card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It is safe for you to explore it and the romance angels will guide your actions accordingly. It's good to know. The romance angels will guide your actions accordingly. Of course, if you are already in a committed relationship, you'll want to consult your angels and perhaps a counsellor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings. This is really interesting, okay, because this is kind of like a little bit of a warning about don't go running into the first person that kind of shows you any, into their arms, the first person that shows you a little bit of interest, okay. Of course, if you're already in a committed relationship, you'll want to consult your angels and perhaps a counsellor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings, okay. Um, a lot of us already feel as if we're kind of committed to our divine masculine, so be careful before you were a quick, um, a bit too hasty to move on. Okay. So while running into the arms of a suitor may sound passionate, the reality of guilt over the affair will soon weigh heavily upon you. It's better to confront the issues within your present relationship that left your emotional doors open for someone else. This card can also mean that you'll soon meet a new person. In these cases, the romance angels are asking you to keep the faith that love is in your cards. You deserve love and you are lovable. The angels guide you to be aware as you never know when your partner will arrive. Best be ready to be ready then. Okay. Um, when it says here, if you're already in a committed relationship, the thing is you need to kind of be over your divine masculine before you move on to someone else. If you're with somebody else and there's kind of, if my divine masculine comes back, then I'll leave that person. You need to spend more time alone to be able to heal. Um, the divine feminine is now uh, attracting a certain divine connection. Okay. So when it says, um, perhaps you want to consult with your angels, a counsellor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings, you are the person that you can trust the most. Okay. On your gut feeling. So this card also means that you'll soon meet a new person. And I feel like as you've evolved, so will the Divine Masculine that you've, um, that you've attracted, manifested into your life. Soon, very soon, to arrive at your door. <laughs> Coming soon. Maybe in time for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> okay. It's definitely going to be a new energy. Because this energy is dead. Let's get an affirmator and a law of attraction card. Okay. It's not ideal, but at least you get to see some of my face today. <laughs> Beauty. I'm beautiful even when I don't think it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. I'm beautiful and I don't even care if you know it. I'm beautiful which is why I don't have to try all the time to show it. And I feel like this is the energy of the Divine Feminine. She knows her true worth, her beauty. Okay. Divine Feminine, you are beautiful. Patience. Um... I picked this up, didn't I, with you practicing patience, Divine Feminine, I'm sure I did. It's a bonus card, it says, congratulations, you've been granted more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this, you're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. Patience. Okay. <laughs> Coming away to my sad to say, okay. Up for some practicing, up, up for some practicing more patience, divine feminine. Patience.
purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to con consciously demonstrate love. Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine is down. It's like he may have lost patience with himself. Um, and he's gone off and been a bit reckless. But your purpose here is your dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Okay. Purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. People with a purpose are leaders. People with a purpose, coupled with compassion, are teachers. You have come to a point in your journey when you must demonstrate to yourself that you are a teacher. Now is the time to be the change that you want to see in the world. Being a person of integrity is your goal. You know your place in the world and how you may be an example to others for the betterment of humankind. You know your place in the world? You do, Divine Feminine. You bring in the balance and order with the star card here. You know your place in the world and how you may be an example to others for the betterment of human mankind. It doesn't say mankind, it's a humankind. <laughs> you tend to have a very strong, intuitive side and use it on a daily basis for clarity of purpose. You have a passion for everything you do, seeing each day as an opportunity to manifest love. You are blessed with a sense of inner peace, because you are satisfied with who you are and what you have. Life seems easy, but you have learned that you don't have to make the choice between love and fear. You already know that the negative energy of fear is not an option. Be a guiding light. Show the world how it's done. Oh, beautiful message, Divine Feminine. Seriously, not much to actually say to the Divine Masculine today. It's all for you, Divine Feminines. Um, Law of Attraction card, and then I'm going to get a Rumi message to end with. I felt like there was a guidebook to it. A guidebook? <laughs> so the Law of Attraction. That would be a good book to read. The Law of Attraction. Okay. We have card number 21. Mm. This is a real good message, especially for 2021. The Law of Attraction treats my imagination as reality. So don't allow your imagination to run away with you, Divine Family. Same with you, Divine Masculine. Don't let it run away with you. Not in a negative way. You start while end. You both have uh, all the protection that you could ever ask for. So, the Law of Attraction treats my imagination as reality. Let's see if I can come just a little bit more back in the light. That's quite a bit in the light, isn't it? It's not going to work. The universe, which is responding to the thoughts you are thinking, does not distinguish between a thought from your observation of some observed reality and a thought brought about by your imagination. In either case, the thought equals your point of attraction, and if you focus upon it long enough, it will become your reality. Good thoughts, guys. Positive expectations, positive thoughts. Wow. I'll reread it. The universe, which is responding to the thoughts you are thinking, does not distinguish between a thought from your observation of some observed reality and a thought brought about by your imagination. In either case, the thought equals your point of attraction, and if you focus upon it long enough, it will become your reality. Oh, I will tell you something that I heard today on the news, and I thought, oh, here we go again. Because when this first came out at the beginning of the year, and uh, there was a, a slogan, should we call it a slogan, that they used, and they said, act as if you have it. And I've heard it again today, it's like our Prime Minister is asking us to act as if you have it, and it's like, no, I don't think so, no way, Jose, don't be so fucking stupid now. That. So, if you're in the UK, don't be a fucking idiot, and act as if you have it. And you know what I mean by that, you can just keep yourself to yourself, uh, 
a divine will guide you, but this isn't about causing like mischief. This is like, no, <laughs> sorry, but no. Act as if you have it. Um, that's not going to take place in my mind. I'm not taking that one on. The unit, I will act as if I'm pure, positive, vital energy that's needed for our planet. So, of course, you're going to be protected, aren't you? Okay. The good that you do comes back to you. The universe, and it's not good to put fear out there or to be uh, muttering that mantra. <laughs> People won't even realise the power that that has. Okay. The universe which is responding to the thoughts you are thinking does not distinguish between a thought from your observation of some observed reality and a thought brought about by your imagination. In either case, the thought equals your point of attraction and if you focus upon it long enough, it will become your reality. And that's why we need to just focus away from it completely. It's the power of the thoughts, the power of intention that uh, sets something alight like that. So let's uh, spin it around. <clears throat> Our purpose, you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love and show the world how it's done. Okay. I do not need to monitor my thoughts. Mm. That's interesting. Let's read this. Card number nine. Rather than trying to monitor your thoughts, pay attention to how you are feeling. For if you should choose a thought not in harmony with your broader intentions, you will feel the discord. And then you can direct your thought to something that feels and therefore serves you better. Okay. Little birdie chirping out there. I felt like you can make sense of that one. I'll read this again. I do not need to monitor my thoughts. Rather than trying to monitor your thoughts, pay attention to how you are feeling. For if you should choose a thought not in harmony with your broader intentions, you will feel the discord. And then you can redirect your thought to something that feels and therefore serves you better. I actually want to say, pop elastic band around your wrist and every time you feel fearful, you give yourself a little flick. Okay. Um, I'm going to Rumi, aren't I? Yes. You're very chirpy out there. Let's get a colour therapy card, guys. Let's see what Rumi wants to say about today's message. Rumi says, have some coffee. I say, okay. Okay, ya. And it's cold. We shall make a fresh cup. A fresh cup of coffee. Okay. What a beautiful day out there. The sun is shining. The birds are tweeting. Let's see what colour is in the air. Bronze, strengthen your body, card number 14. So that's the number of temperance here. Wow, look at this. I feel like the Divine Masculine is proper building himself up. Okay. Maybe on chocolate. <laughs> Dark chocolate's good for you. 14, I'm not sure if, oh, it is in here. There we go. It jumps from 8, from Ruby, regenerate your body, to 14, bronze, strengthen your body. Who knows what happens between 8 and 14. But bronze inspires strength, wisdom and love. <clears throat> it's that word, isn't it? Love, love, love. Sing it out now. Okay. Bronze inspires strength, wisdom and love, helping you to get promotions, bringing wealth into your life. Yeah, you were, what was it? I don't know, you were given abundance. Bonds inspire strength, wisdom and love, helping you to get promotions, bringing wealth into your life and attracting the right people into your business. Bonds also aids in successful negotiations, teaching people to trust their instincts. 
Use bonds to break destructive emotional patterns, release irrational fears and anxieties and flush toxic thoughts and feelings out of your body. And I feel that's exactly what the Divine Masculine is doing. Then he's going to get on with her being successful in these negotiations whilst he's teaching people to trust their instincts. There's some light work going on there. Allow the bronze ray to bring strength and vitality back to your body. So when you affirm that you are strength and vital and uh, healthy Divine Feminine, uh, this will be transmitted to your Divine Masculine also. It's, uh, it'll do both of you the world of good. So, strengthen your body. Focus on any part of your body that needs to be strengthened and place your hands on this part of your body. Breathe into it and visualise a bronze thread coiling around that part of your body, stitching it together and strengthening it. Say, Divine Spirit, surround me with bronze ray of light, which will heal, strengthen and rejuvenate my body. Thank you. Then imagine a bronze ray of light bathing the system of your body that relates to the part of your body you are working on until it looks clear, clean and vibrant. Picture that part of your body being strong and healthy. All I could see was the yin yang. It was like um, as you strengthen yourself, divine feminine, you're strengthening your masculine. As your divine masculine strengthens himself, he's a uh, strengthening you. And I felt the stitching. It said about the the gold, the bronze cord. Uh, sorry, a bronze thread coiling around the part of your body, stitching it together and strengthening it. And I felt like it was the yin yang coming together, and that you're actually stitching that together. So maybe take that into account as you um, do that activity. You just have to go back and rewind. We're on the last cup anyway. I'm on the last cup, are we? Okay, someone might be like giving up drinking. Maybe they're just gonna let their hair down this weekend. This is kind of like, I know what I'm starting on Monday. Okay. Feels like a bit of a late New Year's resolution. It's still New Year. It is a New Year. Okay. Let's get a roomy message and that will finish off today's reading. The all encompassing hand. I felt for some reason, I don't know why, I needed to look at the star card. It just come in with the colours here. Very bronzy theme today, isn't it? A little bit. Do you not think? A little bit. Let's read this, card number 20. That's the... Um, it took me to... Actually, the world card, it didn't. It took me to destiny and destiny, which I felt was like um, completions, new beginnings. 10-10. Ten, ten. Okay. Let's have a look at this, card number 20. You've got to wrap up. When you're in the world card, it's not like the destiny card. It's not like a little cycle. It's a, it's a massive transformation that you're going into a new world, a new earth. <clears throat> and it comes after sacred union. Let's read this card. The all-encompassing hand. You are the essence of my existence. Who am I? A mirror in your hand. Whatever you do, I will do. I am your irresistible reflection. With every breath, I feel my heart is beating with yours. In your joy, I am exuberant. In your sadness, I am in sorrow. If you are bitter, I become bitter. And if you are grace, I become grace. My joy is when I am bewildered in your beauty and taste the sweetness of love on your lips. If I pick a rose without you, it becomes a thorn in my hand, and if I am the thorn, I become the rose in your hand. Rumi. So that will really, like attracts like. So, with every breath I feel my heart is beating with yours. It's contracting. In your joy I am exuberant, and in your sadness I'm in sorrow. And if you're bitter, I become bitter. And if you are grace, I become grace. 
So be that amazing grace, Divine Feminine. I have held your hands in mine for so long that I, ha I have long since ceased to distinguish where your sacred flesh once felt separate from mine. This sacred grasp pulses with love divine and there is one hand holding and held, one being loving and loved, though we may appear to be, though we may appear by less ecstatic angels to be two. The love that gives us this hand fast, beloved, is so powerful, we could spin the entire universe upon its axis, and still our hands will be joined, gently and yet enduringly, in unfailing love and sublime friendship. Can we come out? Oh, can we come out? Can we come out? Can we come out a bit? Whoop! Hair's a bit messy today. Never mind. I haven't really looked at myself today. We shall sit here. <laughs> Perhaps you are in, are in need of reassurance, dearest one. Perhaps you have been feeling somewhat alone on your path or struggling with a matter deep within your precious, beautiful heart and speaking of it to no one. Such loneliness that can foster in the heart with no other to bear witness to your life experience. You may question your sanity, your truths, and create doubt where no doubt need be. This must stop now. You are worthy of so much more. And this suffering is not essential for your growth now. It is time to let it be and to open up to the touch of grace. And to feel like there's this yearning for just to be touched, held, loved, romance. So this oracle comes to you as the hand of the divine. It is the all-encompassing hand the hand that has no limitation upon the blessings it can bestow, upon the troubles it can lift from you, upon the tenderness it can communicate to you through sacred touch. Allow that divine hand to reach for you, beloved. Do not turn it away. Do not let old shame, guilt or mistaken notions of false independence keep you from accepting this heavenly hand. This hand reaches to gently wipe away tears of the past. It will deftly unravel the ties that have bound your own hands, preventing you from fully giving and receiving according to your worth, which is incontestable and without limit. This divine hand will reach you in your meditations, your sleep and your prayers. It will reach you through life circumstances, through the smile or hug, you receive from another or the touch of another human being. It will reach you through the song of a bird, the falling of leaves, the soft fur of a beloved pet, through song lyrics that seem to speak what you are feeling deep inside, or the colourful dress of the stranger across the street who catches your eye and makes you smile. This divine hand is reaching for you now through this oracle. Yes, says the great beloved, I am reaching for you. Yes, I know you. You are my own. I would never abandon you. Perhaps you have turned from me unknowingly, forgotten how much I love you, because the world is in a forgetful daze too, and ignores the caress of the breeze, the joyful acknowledgement of every sunrise, and the reverence made radiant in every sunset. Life is the touch bestowed by my hand. Shall you receive me? Let me love you. Let me restore your soul and remind you there is nothing to fear now. Come, lay down your weapons and your fear for this moment. Quit using that mouth to cry for war or to cry in despair. Bring yourself to my table and use that mouth to taste some bold and rich wine instead. Enjoy with me in this moment the unbreakable bond that lies between us. Allow me to bring the cup of wine to your lips. Behind your head so gently lies my all-encompassing hand. Know the peace of my love. So deeply can it register with you now that you shall never again forget it. This oracle comes with a particular message for you. There may be a situation or circumstance in your life 
that you may feel is somehow unable to be solved. This oracle comes with reassurance that there is nothing beyond the reach of the divine hand of grace. It can all be solved. All can be solved. All can be resolved. There is always a higher, better, more beautiful outcome possible. You are asked to pray using the sacred honouring ritual and to do so with conviction. The divine has this situation in hand and all is unfolding as it should be. Ask for help each day by saying, I ask for help this day in all ways through unconditional love. Thank you. You can be more specific in your request, asking for help in a particular relationship or project too if you wish. The divine wants to lend you a hand. You must ask for help first, however, so ask. Empower that all-powerful hand of grace to bless your life and all circumstances, relationships and situations that have been or are yet to be for you. So Divine Feminine, make sure you are asking for this help, this protection, each and every day. Okay, the Sacred Honouring Ritual. Place one hand resting upon the other with palms joined together. Say aloud, through the loving grace of Rumi, brother of my soul who loves me without condition. These hands are now blessed as the hands of the lover and the beloved, as the one divine hand, all encompassing. I am blessed, protected, nurtured and received. I am touched by the divine with compassionate mercy and loving tenderness. I call on the hand of grace to touch, heal, bless and protect all aspects of myself and my life journey. Through divine grace, so be it. Simply rest with your hands in the same posture for several moments, then finish your ritual. If you wish, you may continue by speaking in prayer to the divine and offer up any issue or concern you have. Give it a voice. It doesn't matter how small or major the issue may seem. Talk it over with the great beloved, a wonderful and responsive listener. When you are finished, place your hands in prayer, bow your head, and simply say thank you. You have completed your sacred honour and ritual. That's a beautiful reading today, guys. Especially for you, Divine Feminines. Lovely reading. Guys, I will catch up with you later. Um, until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.